Hi everyone and welcome back to my take on it with your angelic karma. It is Thursday and we are live once again. Any of you that want to join in with me on the chat, you're most definitely welcome to do so. 25th of July it is and we're going to talk about love and romance a little bit. Talking to the tribe but this is all inclusive of you all that are from traditional countries, traditional backgrounds, well within your culture, well within your tradition. I love talking to you all. And we're talking about men, especially when we're talking about men, because it's tribe and it's easy to talk to tribe. We're going to talk about the, the types of men out there and the kitchen and cooking and women in the workplace. What, not women in the workplace, women with her own business, you know, um, women with her own company and those types of things. Now, so... And, and how me and some of them most definitely could can act like little boys regarding that, especially because of um, the women that we're speaking of, the wives, no need to work. Because remember, we're talking about tribe, we're talking about upper middle class people, and then we're talking about wealthy people, those that tribe, traditional culture. A part of the traditional culture, and I stated that we're we're speaking of it tonight under the umbrella, because as I stated in the other podcast, um, traditional cultures they have a similarity within them. So because they're traditional, so and we're we're gonna talk about the men here, and and this is cute about them, but it needs to be brought to their attention. I'm, I feel that they're well aware of it because the men are quite direct. They're quite clear. They're, 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 they'll tell you, you know, this is what, when we got married, this is what I signed up for. I signed up for a um, wife that was going to be at home, being the housewife, being the home wife, planning parties, taking care of the children, cooking, doing all of those things that she's great at because in, in, in the women of tribe, I know you all are like, you know, you know, brushing your shoulders off knowing that you're great at those things. Cause remember we're talking about tribe. We're not talking about people that are listening in that aren't a part of our tribe and don't like these things. We're talking about upper middle class women that are upper middle class by themselves without the husband and more elevated the status financially with the husband because the husband could be rich or wealthy or upper middle class also we're talking about in their traditional cultures coming from traditional cultures loving their culture loving the tradition would not give it over for anything and the home life is most important to them so i'm going to be clear on that with all the podcasts going forward as we talk about romantic relationships to be clear on who i'm speaking to they would not give it up the home life is important now, and, and most definitely taking pride in the magic that she can make in the home life, but taking um, pride in it. But also when is, and, and some of the, the women stating that they actually got it from the man watching him and how she respects him and how he goes out and, and earns and is somebody that is, um, quite powerful quite respected in society regarding what he does with his own business what he does with the business it, it, he's a part of and the title that he has within it and how um respectable his position is and, and some women some wives even stated well I, i'm i'm like this i'm this way because of you wanting to do that also um and um show what i could do out there and then um obviously not going to put that in front of the home life and in front of raising the children and in front of taking care of the home life and those types of things because the family is first and money and what you do out in the world is just a means of an end for a lifestyle for us with tribe like having a business is just keeping the lifestyle of home life adding to the lifestyle of home life financially now so um so that's the means to an end so we're going to talk about men and cooking in the kitchen and when they in the, in the types of traditional men, and you all have to decide, depending on your country, what type you have. And those of you in the United States that are part of traditional Southern culture, what type you have. And I, I've noticed something with them where some of them is because the kitchen is where the heart is. That's the heart of the home. That's where the heart is. And, and men, you have to decide if your tribe of men is, well, well or all of an umbrella tribe just broken up into pieces regarding different cultures. 
Now, traditional umbrella, all traditional, but broken off into pieces, country, culture, like that. But traditional. And the difference is what? Um, country. Now, so, and, and the traditions associated with that, for us in, in, the, in the United States, we are Southern, traditional Southern culture. So it's region and it's Southern, like that, and it's history. Now, I, I've noticed, and you have to ask, if, if, see if your men are similar, but I'm going to mention the men. And with the heart being, the, 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 the kitchen being the heart of the home. Now, <laughs> and traditional women, despite the, the culture, the, the country, the, the, they love their kitchen. The kitchen is where they shine. That's where the magic happens. It's like don't and she'll always sometimes call it hers, like it, it, like she owns it, you know, and it, it's it's good, and that's why they, even when if you're having a house built, the kitchen has to be just right. It has to be just so. It has to be um, resonate with who she is, you know, because that's what family is going to be. That's what family gatherings are going to be around the kitchen. Um, that's when the magic of food is going to happen, and obviously we know that cooking is a way to show love that's for us that are traditional now and cooking is something that traditional women do six days a week some may do it five but usually six days a week you know going out date night or whatever family night it can break it down to four nights a week cooking things like that now and loving that and looking good doing it i don't know why we have to look good while we're doing it What's this about looking good? Well, hell, the kitchen look is just perfect. So we, we're like in it. So we're just perfectly in it. You know, so, <laughs> you know, so, um, so that's where the heart of the home is, the kitchen. And, and, and men from traditional cultures, I'm wondering if this is all, all around the world. I know in certain cultures it is where when there's a gathering, family, friends, Party, night of the week, whatever, family gathering, friend gathering. The men are, it is usually a family thing that grew up in the traditional culture where that's when the men are in the kitchen and the women are in the kitchen, the family are in the kitchen and the friends are in the kitchen and everybody's cooking for that party, cooking for that night, cooking for that gathering like that. And it's like, and, and that's the way things are functioning. And men are most definitely, come in from certain cultures, they cook and they're from traditional cultures. Even if you take Italians, for, for instance, the men been in the kitchen and cooking, and they're very masculine, very um, traditional, very cultured, things like that. Now, um, even after they move to the United States, don't think that people that come to the United States, those of you that are listening that aren't a part of our tribe, don't think that they come running from and fleeing from their country and their culture. No, they bring it with them like that. So... So the men is like um, cooking, family, friends, everybody. Not where the man is grilling out. Not that's not cooking. I'm talking about in the kitchen with a stove and knowing how to cook dishes and priding themselves on it also. But it's still being because they're traditional. That's the woman's domain like that. Not now, Americans that are listening. We're not talking to you out that aren't a part of our tribe. Where, oh, that's her domain. Yeah, that's her domain like that. Now we're talking about rich, wealthy women. Now that are rich and wealthy independently and become richer and wealthier through marriage. Now, so we're talking about those types of women that are traditional. So is so so the men doing that, and then that's culture. Now, and then there's a culture and you have to decide what culture you all come from women um and what culture the man you married comes from because the women we you the user marry within their own culture majority marry within their own culture so we're talking about those that marry within their own culture because they want to they marry within their own culture because they want to keep those traditional cultures alive and it's very important for the woman that's why she marries within her own culture now because the women are the keepers of culture they nurture culture so is um uh, so and then there are the women. So we're talking about these where it's that that that's what's happening. That's when the man will be mostly in the kitchen because because grandpa's in the kitchen, um, daddy's in the kitchen, uncle and uncle's in the kitchen, um, the wife is in the kitchen, the sister-in-law's in the kitchen, 
um, everybody's in the kitchen and they're cooking and doing their thing with the traditional food of their culture. All cultures have traditional food and we have traditional Southern food in the South, in the South you know, and the men know how to cook it too. And they like eating it. Oh, that's why I'm surprised at, at the podcast that we put out. I was like a $200 budget a month. What, what are you cooking like that? So, and, and that's how I knew the person was not a part of our tribe because him or her like that. So is because you're not going to be cooking something six days of the week or five days of the week and it's on a $200 budget. Now, so not any type of traditional culture food you're not going to. And that's who traditional housewives of, of a culture. Now, because they're of a culture, because we're not talking about women that were forced to do that because that's the way the world was at one time. We're talking about women that at that time, and they, we're their descendants now, that are part of the culture like that. Now, so, and then we have that group there. And then we have the men where they grew up in, in the culture. And the women that grew up in the culture where the man did not cook at all or do anything in the kitchen. Now, he wasn't taught that growing up. That wasn't a part of his culture. His, the wife, the women would be a part of his culture that he would be married. They don't want him in the kitchen, period. Cooking, doing dishes, trying to help. That's, that means that they're strictly a, not a part of their culture like that. So, and then they have the other culture that I mentioned, um, that I just mentioned is where is family and is it but see people are different cause traditional people have different cultures now and you have so are you uh from the traditional culture we're not just talking about cooking out and grilling and stuff like that that's not that's not cultural okay so we're talking about cooking so and cooking the traditional food of that culture not making meals so uh, with, with the family all inclusive in his um family gatherings or a family party, friend and family party, and they all go in the kitchen, they're cooking. It's culture, they're cooking the culture food. Everybody's of that culture, they're cooking the culture food. Like culture, the men know how to cook it, the women know how to cook it, all of that, and they're in there doing that together. But on a normal day, that's the woman's, what she does, like that. Now, and that's the part of the culture. Now, and then, as I stated, number two, we have where a part of the culture, we're putting culture and umbrella. Um, cultures around the world, Southern traditional culture in the United States, also inclusive of that, um, traditional cultures. Now, and how they're different. And then number two, you have, as I stated, where the, the, in this, in the culture is traditional culture, countries, um, where the men did not cook at all or wash dishes or do anything in the kitchen, period. And the women of that culture, that's a part of their culture. And the women, obviously, they grow up and they become women. They get married. They marry within that culture. And they don't want the man doing that. They're not accustomed to that. They don't like that. They don't want that happening. The man is interested in that. No, no, doing that. When, when family, when it's family gatherings or parties, we're talking about um, upper class women that are upper class financially by themselves, rich or wealthy now with the man, like that. Now, so is when... When the um when when that's the case and their parties or family gatherings is and the men go and group together as men and all the women are in the kitchen. Like that or the one that is hosting the party at her home, she's the only one cooking, like that. Or they can cook as a group and, and help, or she's the only one cooking. You had that type of case. Now, so those are the two types of um, traditional, cultural, traditional um, goings-ons in the kitchen regarding groups and gatherings and hosting of parties and those types of things. Now, with Southern culture, Southern traditional culture, the woman is the one that is hosting. So she's the one planning the menu. She's the one... Um, she could have help with um obviously planning she would probably plan the meal herself because they like doing these types of things we're not talking about the the super rich rich and wealthy that aren't a part of our culture and they have the things catered we're talking about traditional culture where is um traditional and women like doing these things like that now and running the household and running the kitchen and things like that in the home life and decorating so is with with, with southern culture is 
D, and I'm pretty sure with the other two that I mentioned also, is where the woman is planning the menu of, of what is going to be cooked. Okay, obviously planning the guest list also. She's planning the guest list. She got people that help her, assistants or things like that, the writing or whatever, going out to get things, but she would be the one actually in the kitchen doing the cooking. And, and the husband would not be cooking either. Because she would not be, it's not like group two where he didn't learn how to do these things. And that's a part of the culture. That's a part of the traditional culture for that man and woman. And that's what they grew up in. That's what they like. Now, it, it won't be that. It would be that she would, this is hers to do. And she would not be leaving such an important task in his hands and him along with the task like that. You know, of, of planning what the menu is going to be. Um sorting out the guest list, um, decorating and doing all those types of things that come along with planning that type of gathering. So, and, and she will be doing the cooking. It, it, it won't involve him. Now, even though Southern men, Southern traditional men know how to cook to a certain extent, but not to the extent that the woman knows how to cook, because I feel that with Southern culture, it could be because that's what the, what, what the woman does is like, okay, just like other traditional cultures, she's the one that she's take care takes care of those things. With with southern culture, it it was is more about um not wanting him. To have too much um, presentation within the domains that she call hers. Okay, that's that. So even when these women go out and start working, I don't know how it works for other cultures. I, I would think that, um, as I stated, some of the men are like, well, well, I know this. That's within all the cultures that are traditional inclusive of southern cultures but around the world there's traditional cultures that these women when they go out to start their businesses when they go out to um and i'm just going to leave it on businesses when they go out to start their businesses to open their businesses to open their companies uh when they started that how the men the issue is that the man can bring up the contract that he signed up for when they got married. And that contract being, he's the primary breadwinner, which the men understand that her going out to work isn't a threat to him. Because remember, her role changed. His role did not change. His role stayed the same. He's still the primary breadwinner. So he still has his title. He still has his role. He still has a traditional role of his ancestors, you know, and value that traditional role. And, and her being the traditional wife of his culture, liking that traditional role and, and giving him that. And her having Harris also. But her role changed. Now she's going out to start a company. Now she's going out to start a business. Things like that. So now she's going to be away from the home life. Now, I'm going to tell you about these men. The men will bring up, because some of them, it, it's not like they like the role. Obviously, they do not like the role because it interferes with um, the importance of what their role is. And their role being the primary importance. And her looking at his role as still being the primary importance. Why is his role still the primary importance? Because he's the primary breadwinner. She could start the business and say, I don't like the business. Or I'm going to close the business down. He's still there being the primary breadwinner. <laughs> you know, so that's the way we see it with culture. Now, and that's how the way cultures around the world see it. Also, where upper class people or or um, then wealthy people are together and they are the same traditional culture. So we understand that his role does not change. He's just a primary breadwinner. He understands the importance of the role either. And the understanding of nothing weakens that. Or nothing shakens that because she's not going to weaken it or shaken it because she, the women are the nurturers of the culture. They keep the culture going. They keep the culture in place. They keep the they nurture the foundation that is there before them and that was always set before them and that they're carrying forward into the future. Now, so so 
So that's stable, his position. It did not change. It does not change over time. He's the foundation is stable. His security is stable there. But his issue will be, well, because as I stated last night in the podcast, the woman's role changed and this is how it changed. It, it, she, it, it compounded because now not only is she, cause she prioritizes the home life is first for her. Not only does she prioritize the home life and it's first for her, she's also decided to go out and start a home business, <laughs> you know, but the home life is still primary for her. Just like he's still the primary breadwinner. The foundation is strong because she's still, their home life is still primary for her. And even in, in the midst of at being at the business or the company that she owned is if it's outside the house, if it's time to come cook dinner, she's leaving and going to cook dinner like that. You know, it's those types of things. And where with more modern people, they'll tell him he could cook. Well, we're not talking to you all. We're talking about our traditional culture and how we keep it intact and keep the foundation strengthened. And we nurture what has already been put into place and we nurture it in its future and how it is. Now, so she's going home to cook dinner because the home life is the primary importance to her like that. The job, the business that she has is just a mean to keep a lifestyle as an addition to the lifestyle and it takes money and the finances. And it's also a a way for her to show what she could do. And sometimes the women give that credit to what she could do to the husband. She could say, well, um, well, I got it from you. Uh, You run your own company. I've seen you run your own company. You come talking to uh, to me about it at night, you know, and we talk about it. And, um, you most definitely have pointed out qualities and characteristics that I have that I know that I have also. And, and I'm, I, I'm this way because of you like that. And I want to go out in the world and show what I could do, but it would not interfere with the home life because the home life is primary for me. That's the women of our culture. Now in cultures around the world also. Now, and these women don't have to do anything because some of them come from backgrounds of money independent of the husband. Some of them come in with money like that. We're talking about upper cut middle class women and, and that marry upper middle class men. Oh, and we're talking about upper middle class women that marry wealthy or rich men like that. We're talking about this group. So is it not having to do it and not having to do it also because he's your primary breadwinner. He wants that and that's his title and that's what he wants to do. And he'll say, well, I didn't sign up for that. This is the contract that I signed up for. I signed up for you to, um, when we married, it was going to be within the culture of how things are. You've been at home with the children, taking care of the house, playing the parties, playing the events, um, taking care and running things there. And I was going to be out making the money that affords you a comfortable life in a way that you could do that in whatever style you please. That's what they could um, bring up because the, the man could look at it as, well, if, if I do say, well, I'm going to step up and in a way and I'll um, help out with running the home. Because some people, they come from this type of traditional culture and money and they cannot want nannies. All of them may not have nannies. They want it to be the mother or the father. But it depends on what the dad, what the husband says. If he says no nanny and just the wife, okay, it's no nanny and just the wife. If he says babysitter only for nights out between the husband and wife when we're going out, that's the only time a babysitter or a nanny could come. Okay, that's the only time a babysitter and a nanny could come. And the wife will be in agreement with that also. And then sometimes they have nannies, but we're talking about in the, within the culture where that's not the case. So he could say, well, um, yeah, I will. While you're out, I can have office at home because I have my own business. I'll let him like that. Well established, you know, and I can be with the children sometimes. He could say that or he could say, no, I'm not doing that. Now, because that's not his part within the culture. That's not his part within the marriage, excuse me. So he could say, no, I'm not doing it. And she knows that he could say, no, I'm not doing it. So it it behooves her and she knows it to um, let him know that, well, me being out is something that I'm doing independently, but it's also inclusive of the family because they're going to benefit also, even though the benefit isn't necessary, but I am still not putting anything above the family and the home life. The family and the home life is important, but I'm also going to do this also 
regarding her own business because you and I talked about it and you agreed to it and you know what it takes to run a business because you have one or you're a part of one. So the man understands that he understands also the time and the energy and effort and the and amount of time it'll take her away from home, but he's not so understanding where he says, well, um, that means that somebody else is going to be cooking dinner uh, and, and, and somebody else is going to be kicking it, taking care of the children and, and that somebody's going to be me. Uh, no, he's not that going to be like that. And she doesn't want that from him either. She doesn't want her role out of the home life to be, be, be gone. She's not handing it over to be out running a business like that, you know, no, because she has the freedom to, if she doesn't like the business, she can close it because she has him there as the primary breadwinner like that. So it's those types of things. The, um, the business, the, the being outside the home in that way is for, to show what she could do, to show what she's made of, to have something that she's created and manifested on her own. And she'll sometimes even give credit to the husband of the respect that he receives from doing that and the respect that he receives from her, the respect that he receives from the children, the, the respect that he's received from the society. She respects him like that. And she can also want um, that type of respect, getting it regarding her position within the culture, because within the culture, that position would be respected, but wanting it outside of home life also, but would not give up this home life for that. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Because with traditional cultures is about nurturing the culture. And and that's why the um these types of roles are in place and, and where well, they've always been in place and they're kept in place because that's how they nurture the culture. That's how they nurture their friendship groups, that's how they nurture their family groups, that's how they nurture it. And that's how they pass it on. And it has a long tradition. It has a history behind it. It's not anything new. And it's very close, knit. And the woman has a position that she likes and that she's good at within the home life and loves it. Raising children. We're talking about feminine women. Um, taking care of the home life. Loving that. But also knowing that she can um, do other things other than that outside the home life. And doing it also. But it would never prioritize. It would be never prioritized over the over their um, home life ever ever and it most definitely would never interfere between her and the husband it would never interfere between her and the husband the only time that interference happens is when it happens with people that were forced to be a do things that belong to specific cultures like when we were in a time period where all women were doing that okay and they were not traditional they just were doing it because that's what the time period that's what women did now, we're not in that time period anymore, but we still have traditional cultures all over the world and in the United States with traditional Southern culture. Okay, so that lets you know that there was a culture where this is their way, but everybody else was forced to follow that way. And when that time was over, the men were relieved. Oh, now we don't have to be primary breadwinners. And the women were relieved. Oh, now we don't, because they're not a part of the culture. They're not a part of the culture. And then also, we're defining culture financially. We're speaking of women that are... As I stated, they come from backgrounds of family wealth or they're, they're um, upper middle class women independently. And then when they marry, they marry within their own culture. They marry upper middle class men. They're equal financially or they marry men that are um, wealthy or rich or whatever you want to call it, quotation marks. So we're focusing on that and we're t focusing on food and how men get when women um, go out and and, and start businesses and, and companies and things like that. We're not talking about um, going out and getting a part-time job. And as I stated, the, the the man's role did not change. It's the woman's role that changed. It it, it became double. The role didn't change. She just picked up another role. Then the home life role did not change. And, and I call these women women 2.0, you know, because they are women that could truly do it all and they like doing it. It's like really showing what you're made of. And then it is it, that is is like um and it but, but then the primary importance is the family the primary importance is the home life and nothing will be take its place or be prioritized above that no ever nothing and and when the men is they know that that's, that's what they signed up for with the marriage but they also knew that time was going to change and they're very direct about that being what they signed up with in the marriage 
you know, but they have to also be very honest about um, the why wanting to to do what she's doing outside the home regarding starting her own business. And the men take part in the starting of the business also. Sometimes the woman doesn't want him to fund the business. She wants to fund it by herself, um, raise funding, um, get a business partner, or use her own personal money or a combination of the three. Things like that where he could do things like, you know, um, <laughs> I don't know what me would lay the flooring in the bed. So he could feel that he's a part of it, you know. It's those types of things, but it most definitely would not interfere with um, the marriage or anything regarding the family. Anything like that. It, it it won't do that. It's just the man seeing that he has a a a rare woman, you know, or a, a highly special woman. So is in and, and that's what it is with traditional cultures. And and it and and because it's culture, culture is close anyway. Culture is very close. Is it is and it is ancestral. Culture is is very close knit. And it can denote a very close knit family also because they're they're cultural traditions and and they like it. Now is and they carry it on. It's not just about well um having the money. You, yeah, we, you, if you had the money you could hire people to do those types of things. Some of them do, but we're talking about the aspect of, of culture and tradition where the woman is um where the woman is doing that herself. And even when they're hiring people for help, those that do it is the woman still knows how to do it is hiring for additional assistance it could be hiring for additional assistance maybe something big is coming up maybe it's christmas it's thanksgiving or some type of gathering it is pretty significant maybe um and those types of things but i i feel that it's good when the man says this is what i, I feel i actually feel that it's good when the husband says well well um if if, if yeah we had this conversation I'm in agreement with you going out and starting a business. Now, obviously, she that's not going to interfere with the home life because these women, traditional women, using on they that's their domain like that. Okay, they don't they don't want that. Some of them don't want nannies. Some of them don't want um, babysitters and things like that, or or cooks or things like that, or anybody in their house. Okay, so is and we're talking about the upper middle class upper middle class there's a difference between middle class and upper middle class okay we're talking about that and then we're talking about wealthy people now so it, it, it's good that the man and we and they don't want that and even if it's like date night a family member could take care of like that okay you know or there could be the time there's a babysitter or a nanny things like that now it could be where it's good when the man says well I don't want that. You're you're gonna go out. You're gonna start your business. We talked about it. We discussed it. We already know that that's gonna take you away from home, and you need to make sure that it doesn't take you away from your duties at home like that. Okay. Now, so she will be doing because the home is first is prioritized over the business that she's starting. Now, so is well well, and it's good that he doesn't want anything to change regarding what her duties are and saying words like duties we're not afraid of that okay regarding what her duties are in the home life what she's doing in the home life he doesn't want anything to change she still continues that she doesn't want anything to change she still continues that and she's doing whatever she's doing in the home life now i mean with the, starting the business or running the business and things like that so is so it kind of really demonstrates what she's made of as a woman because she's taking on two roles and she's not lacking in the, in the role that is the most important, which is the home life, which is the family. She's not lacking in that. She's not slacking in that. She's prioritizing that. Everything revolves around the home life, the marriage, the children, because nothing's more important than that. 
Nothing's more important than the husband, the children, and the home life, the culture, the tradition. And and you know, and because a many of these traditional women they'll start they'll say that they're the ones that start businesses outside the home, they'll do it when the children are old enough. Some of them, some of them, the children could be still young. So these are women that really have their hands full is and they have a lot on their plate because they put on two hats and they're not slacking with one of them. And the home life is the most important. Imagine you're imagine you're trying to start a business or a company or you have a business or a company and you say, OK, shit it's four o'clock. Let me go home and start dinner. <laughs> you know, let me go home. Let me start dinner. Like that. That's why I stated that our modern is different. Our modern looks different. Our modern is different, but it's, it's modern, but it's different. It's not the type of modern where you say, well, yay, hey, the hell with me and we could be out. We can go work at Walmart. Not that type of thing. Not that. It's like um, is the modern is different because the, the tradition and the culture and the home life and the family is still prioritized. And the women are still going out being successful. As I stated, there aren't many successful women. The United States is supposed to be a very modern country, but there aren't many successful women in the in the United States. I looked it up. Women that make a hundred thousand dollars a year, there are about eight to eleven percent of women that do that, and that's not even a lot of money. That's not a lot of money, and it has nothing to do with men not allowing them to do it. I make a little bit more than that but still that's still not a lot that's how i know that's why i know it's a lot not a lot of money okay so is so there aren't many successful ones, but i noticed that in other that the successful ones if you could call that success they would be in other cultures in other countries and, and, and they'll be the country and the culture will be traditional and those women will also be out Maintain the tradition, maintaining culture, and that being important to them in the primary focus of the home life. But they'll also have gone out independently by themselves and done something. Wearing the two hats. You know, and these won't be the women that are on the bandwagons of talking about no to men and all of this other stuff they'll be very traditional so you you all don't find that odd you all don't find that odd and strange that they will be very traditional or does it show that because they're a traditional culture and have traditional culture values they are gonna succeed and meant to succeed and they succeed in the home life and like it and they succeed outside of it too doesn't mean that they decide to see outside of it if they choose to. Because some of them don't. Some of the women don't want to do anything. They feel like they have like their hands full with the man. The man has his career. Um, you know, a man having million dollar contracts, multi million dollar contracts. The husband, he runs his own business, runs his own company, a part of other business company. She has enough on her hands with um, tending the children, tending to the house, tending to friends, tending to whatever his network is. Tending to socializing, tending to those things, the thing, and she could be a traditional woman also, and knows how to do it, and loves doing it with the home life. And if she chose to, she could go out into life and and be successful with whatever also. I I, I feel that. Uh, well, this is a question to you all that are part of tribe under the umbrella term of tribe, not just Southern traditional culture, just tribe in general, whatever country you're listening in at. And also here in the United States with Southern traditional culture, if it, um, I, 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 I want to know if, do you all think that people that have traditional cultures that they were, that they are. Um, 
uh, traditional values, traditional cultures, that that the women are there's like a guaranteed success that they have the capabilities to succeed, succeed outside of home life also. That they carry that capability. And I'm not talking about women that were forced to do it and they were happy that it's over and the men that were happy that that's over that type of tradition where it was forced on them at a time period when it was everybody was doing that. I'm talking about people that are truly of the traditional cultures. Now, okay, do you all feel that the, those groups of people outside of the United States also in a southern traditional culture, that the women are, like, they have it within them to, because they succeed and excel in the home life, they also, and they like it, they also can succeed and excel if they decide to go out of the home life and do things. That they just have it within them to succeed and excel. That's a question. Until next time, thanks for listening. Bye.